Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This video was proudly sponsored by CostumeYeti.com because I found out they were doing a Halloween costume contest this year which I was really excited about and you can win cash prizes for this so I definitely wanted to film the process making myself into something for Halloween this year and of course I'll leave a link in the description box below if you would like to enter it yourself. There aren't many rules other than the fact you need to look awesome and they have many categories like group, cosplay, baby, dog, family, couples, kids, adults so you can be as creative and weird as possible. Probably the weirder the better you're going to have the bigger chance of winning. A big thank you to Eric on Twitter for recommending I do Poison Ivy this year. I had a lot of fun making this and the only things I really used were some ivy leaves, something to attach ivy leaves onto a costume, some false leaves which I actually found from the range for only $3.99. If you don't have red hair like myself then a red wig and some green costume clothing. I actually found this in my very unorganised fancy dress cupboard. You can probably tell it was originally meant for Peter Pan. Of course if you're using this to go trick or treating in, a trick or treat pot. I mean, how else are you going to collect your candy, right? Alright. Small items included bobby pins and safety pins, which I actually ended up using instead of the stapler you saw before. This is the only time you're going to hear me say that I'm lucky enough to have poison ivy all over my garden. So I took a little trip into the garden and picked some of my favourite poison ivy leaves. It's important that if you're going to do this too, don't use this for your actual costume. I used false leaves for the costume because poison ivy is, you've guessed it, poisonous. It can be quite itchy and you don't really want that. Also on my little trip in the garden, I I found Spider-Man hanging out. He was in the middle of catching his dinner. I thought that was quite a fun thing. For those of you who haven't met Spider-Man before, he's a good friend of mine. So now on to the dressmaking. This was fairly simple. I literally picked apart the false leaves that I had bought earlier on and I stapled them all over the dress and just kind of placed them around in spaces that I felt like would look good and as if the leaves are wrapping around my body. I tried my best to safety pin it all onto the dress in quite a subtle way so that you can't see too many of the safety pins when I'm wearing this. I mean no one's gonna actually think you've got poison ivy on you but it's best if you don't actually see how a dress is put together. I mean where's the magic in that? So then when that was done I got back to my ivy leaves that I had picked earlier and I simply safety pinned them onto a bobby pin. You could use this method or you could simply use glue, although I felt like this way they would be a little bit more secure. And now that was done, I could move on to hair and makeup. Of course I started off with some primer because there was about to be a lot of makeup put onto my face. I accidentally poured a lot more than I was supposed to here. But maybe that was a good thing because I needed my face protected. <laughs> Obviously I'm really sad and wanted to keep to the green theme so I decided to use my tea tree oil concealer even though it's not my favourite but I was just really sad and pathetic and wanted to use something with the green theme. <laughs> Obviously put this all over your problem areas and dark circles and blemishes because you're about to be a character that doesn't exist and she doesn't have blemishes because she's beautiful and flawless. Next up for foundation, I'm going to be using my favourite L'Oreal True Match Blendable Liquid Foundation. Once again, you're going to need to make sure you have quite a clear base because that's the kind of person she is, so this is quite a good foundation for that as it's a heavy duty one. It's full coverage. Rimmel London Stay Powder next to go over that foundation just to stop any stickiness and to keep the foundation on longer. Now for my eyes, I'm going into my BH Party Girl eyeshadow palette once again. This is one of my favourites, so you're going to see this a lot on the channel, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm using the red in this palette to go over my eyebrows because she has red eyebrows and technically I should because my hair's supposed to be red, right? Mm -hmm. 
I'm then going to be using this very dark green for the inner part of my eyebrow just to make it a little bit more darker because otherwise the red isn't going to look natural at all. Then using this green from the MUA Poptastic palette, I'm going to be going over all my areas that I would usually contour. This was super fun and interesting for me to do because it just like, it's so effective but very, very simple. And I was really happy with how this turned out. Then using a flat brush I used the red in the same palette to go underneath my eyes. For this I went a lot more thicker than I usually do for my eyeliner. Then using a darker green to the green I used for my face I got my favourite Real Techniques blending brush and worked on my eyes. With a white in the same palette, I lightened up the colour a little by going in the inner corners of my eye. Then going back to the green I was using earlier, I followed it all the way up to my eyebrows. This was kind of just to give it a bit more of a dramatic look and to make me kind of seem a bit more cartoony slash like, I don't know, false. <laughs> Getting the Arch de Triumph highlighter, I then put it underneath my eyebrow and blended it in a little bit to kind of help it blend. This is just my blending process, I just find doing that a lot more easier than the normal method, I suppose. Using a liquid eyeliner, I worked on my wings and just basically did what I usually do all the time every day. Then using this really cool green flash mob liquid eyeliner, I then kind of made it seem as if like some form of ivy plant was growing in and out of my eyeliner that I had just drawn. I don't really know how well I achieved this but I tried and it was really fun to do and I'd never really done something like this before. Watching this back now it kind of reminds me of the Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> is it a plant or is it the Loch Ness Monster? Or like some weird see which growing from my eye like Ursula or something. Getting Maybelline's Lash Sensational Mascara, I went over my eyelashes as I usually would. Using Avon's Perfect Reds lipstick in Poppy Red, I tried to match my lips with my bright hair and red eyeliner. Next up for my hair, I used my Tony and Guy hair straighteners to curl. 
a small section of my head. I didn't really want to curl my entire head because I know it would be a, like very dramatic for her and I know her hair is only a little wavy so I went over some parts of my hair. The method I used for this was simply wrapping the hair up on the straighteners, slowly moving it downwards and wrapping it up again before letting go. I mean you can kind of tell by watching how I do it but that's the best way to explain it. Make sure you're holding it tight and do it quite slowly but not too slowly because you don't really want to put too much heat on your hair otherwise it will fall out. Something which I decided to do a little bit last minute was to get some dark eyeshadow and just go into the outer corner of my lips because it gives your lips some dimension and it makes you look a little bit more cartoony. Finding those poison ivy clips I made earlier I attached them to my hair and cut off the stems later on with some scissors. It took a while to decide which area of my hair to put them in but I got there in the end. <laughs> And ta-da! I was then ready to put on the costume and I also folded up the sleeves because I felt like the costume screamed Peter Pan a bit too much so I felt like doing that made it a little bit different. I could have properly sewn them up or cut them off but I knew I'd be using this costume again for Peter Pan or a pixie so I was like mm, I'd rather just fold them for now and safety pin them underneath so nobody can see or tell that I have folded them up. I then did a tiny bit of green contouring on my collarbones because I realised that some of my skin will be showing in the dress. So now I was done, I was ready to step outside and take a photo to enter for the Halloween costume contest. And that concludes the end of the video. I really hope that you enjoyed this. As you already know, I'm no professional and none of this was taken super seriously. It was just for fun, but I really hoped you enjoyed watching it regardless. There are so many other tutorials here on YouTube that you can watch if you want to see somebody who may be a little bit more talented in places that I'm not, but I wanted to keep this on a budget and I also wanted to try anything which happened to fit with the fact that I have red hair. So I obviously had to pick this and thank you very much for the person who suggested this also. As well as that fancy dress costume suggestion, I was also looking at Costume Yeti's website because they've got a load of different costume ideas on there as well. They are the reason that this video was possible because they wanted to sponsor me to make this and they gave me the challenge to become something for Halloween this year. So a huge, huge, huge thank you goes out to them and I'll be entering this look and this photo in particular to them because they are hosting a Halloween contest. Sorry, my, my doorbell's going and I have to answer it looking like this. Great. As mentioned at the beginning of this video, I am entering this look and this photo in particular to Costume Yeti and there is a cash prize, ladies and gentlemen. Enter it this year if you would like to and if you do, can you send me the photos as well because I'd love to see some of the stuff that you're dressing up as. That would be really good. So get creative, have fun with it and enter their contest because it's not often you can get awarded for doing something fun like dressing up. Let me know in the comment section what you're being Halloween this year and I will see you guys the day after tomorrow. You can subscribe to this channel and be notified every time I make a new video by clicking subscribe. I've also got social media which I found in my description box below, Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. I'm going live twice a week on you now so make sure you become a fan on that as well and I will see you in two. Bye. <laughs>